Uh, right, we're in the kitchen, as you can see now. Juliet's rustling up some ice lollies for us. Yes. So nice to see you. Lovely to be here. And um, I do love an ice lolly, especially when it's not, like, 12 degrees. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I've got a couple of lovely recipes. Obviously, it's school holidays too, so it's really fun to do these with the kids. Yeah. Um, so first off, I've got a fruity version. Um, and it's literally just pureed fruits. That's all it is, a little bit of fruit juice. So we've got three layers. Um, so you can see these ones I'm going to make here. So what we've got is some pineapple, mango and watermelon layer. Yeah. So all you need to do is just blitz each layer together in the machine. Julia, how do you wash your strawberries? Because there's so much stuff online about washing your strawberries. I don't wash no. mine. You don't wash them? No. Oh, right, you're right then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't bother. I think... Hang on a I'm sorry. I just, I, I don't, I think it ruins the shine and I, I really believe that loads of bit, bits of dirt are really good for your immune system. Like, I never used to clean my kids stiff. I've not, sorry, like, I'm so sorry, I'm so, I'm so sorry, I've not seen this as a breaking news story on Good Morning Britain ever. <laughs> How do you wash your strawberries? <laughs> Would you not just wash them in water? Um, no, I think, I've, I've seen somebody put a little bit your of... Your ice cream's oh, falling. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Sorry, I left it too long. Well, I how, have had it in you, there quicker. How were you meant to wash your strawberries? Sorry. You meant, I mean, I've just it's never because really... we diverted to strawberry washing yeah. talk. Yeah. Uh, but back to your lollies. So you yeah. blitz up the fruit. Blitz up the fruit. These are really easy because you've got some... Um, they look really fun because they've got three layers, but you don't have to freeze them in between because the puree is quite thick, so you yeah. can literally just go straight off. Um, so I've got... So you just literally pour into your moulds. Oh, um, I Just see. make the little layers. Um, and then... Three layers like that. So, and you can really do any any fruit that you like. Kiwis would be nice. And that's how um, you get that. And then just literally put them in the freezer for sort of like six to eight hours or do them overnight. And you've got your lollies there. Look at that. What do you think of those? I think you've got to eat them really quickly. Really... <laughs> uh, to be fair, poor Tilly's been like really yeah. struggling to keep the lollies frozen in the studio. It's quite a challenge, mm. I can say. So literally just put the sticks in like that. And then you've got those. They're really, really lovely and they're perfect for like outdoor gatherings, parties, and, yeah, nice and healthy as well, because it's literally just some fruit. Do you know what? It even tastes healthy compared to if an ice lolly you buy in the shop, which would necessarily really? have pureed fruit, it'd be fruit flavourings, etc. Exactly. It definitely tastes mm. really They're really nice, already. aren't they? Gorgeous! And I've, yeah. I've got a bit of an alcoholic one over there for adults, but I was thinking earlier, yeah. I was saying, it'd be nice to put a bit of vodka or something in this. You'll need to make right. them a bit alcoholic. You could do. I mean, yeah. I, there's, you know... But vodka <laughs> might not freeze. No, not if you don't put too much in. OK, fine. fine. Yeah. Um, Right, so on to my second flavour, which I love these. So okay. I've got some strawberry cheesecake lollies. Oh, really, is that this one yes, here? Yes, this one's okay. a bit melty as well. Hopefully it's not going to fall off on your, onto your lap. I think I've, I think I've but, already ate mine. <laughs> <laughs> but they're really, really tasty. Again, there's, not, there's hardly any sugar in these. They're made with some cream cheese, some natural yoghurt, some strawberries, a little bit of sugar. Well, that tastes like a cheesecake. It's really, really creamy. And yeah, you've got, it's lovely. So um, all you do, all you do, is literally blitz them together mm -hmm. to make this lovely creamy kind of strawberry layer. So I'm just going to fill. I've got some biscuit, biscuit top to go on the top, mm -hmm. which kind of gives you that cheesecake element. So like, just leave a little bit of a gap at the top. Now, if you haven't got any of these moulds, where did I get those from? The moulds. Yeah. Just get them online. Get them in the supermarkets. Okay, but you don't have to use moulds. So we've actually got. Oh, we we made some. In, the, in these, here they are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So here we go. So you can just use any like yogurt pots or plastic pots, and they work really well as well for okay. ice lollies. And literally, to get them out of the mould, you just need to put them in some warm water just for like 10, 20 seconds, and then yeah. they'll just come straight out. So you don't have to buy the moulds if you don't want to. I so literally, try once that. you've if, yeah, try, try one, one of those. And yeah, they're really they're, again they're super healthy because it's just mostly fruit, a little bit of cream cheese, natural yogurt, um, and I've just got the little biscuit topping going over here. And I thought it'd be nice to put a little, little bit of the old strawberry babies in those. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm, Andy. What do you think? Oh, you're onto the pina colada one there as well. I'm gorgeous, but I'm making a little bit of a mess. And well, Andy that's the whole like point. Or oh, do you not? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole point of ice creams, isn't it? They're always going to fall off and like splat all over the place. Mm. Um, so I'm just going to put my sticks in here, and then literally you just need to freeze them again for sort of like the same amount of time. Right. There we go. Lovely. That's a strawberry cheesecake one. That's a strawberry cheesecake. Amazing. But if you want to make something for the adults... If you want to make something for the adults, I've got some pina colada. OK, right. Here. So, I mean, oh, they're so, so tasty. Um, it's one of my favourite drinks for summertime. Mm -hmm. Just reminds me of being on holiday. Lovely. So, again, I mean, you have got some alcohol in here, but you've got um, some fresh uh, pineapple, mm -hmm. some lime juice, lime zest, coconut cream and then some coconut rum. Okay. It smells amazing. So I literally just want to whiz those up in the uh, food processor or Nutribullet, whatever you want to use. Yep. So you get a nice puree like this. And then you just, again, just 
So same, same old thing, just pour it in the mould. It's, it's not, not hard, is it? But again, it's... <laughs> this item could have been over minutes ago. Uh, blend pour, it, pour put it, it in the mould. Uh, there we go. Like, but again, yeah, pretty, pretty nice and simple, but you yep. can whack them in the freezer, you've got them there, and they are so tasty. And if you want to make them look a bit more special, I quite like to dip them in some chocolate, so let's just grab That's this one That's never going to happen. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's going to be a challenge now. A bit of mess. Sort of yeah. OK, go on, you go for it. it. So literally just dip them in some melted chocolate. Like that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's just nice to kind of like, obviously, they're, they're a bit, yeah, a bit melty lovely. now. Lovely. <laughs> they do <laughs> melt. That's a problem. Toasted coconut's a lovely option. Lovely. Or some fresh. And then what you want to do... <laughs> oh, Beautiful. <just> pop. <laughs> pop. Would you, like, would you like one? <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Just literally pop them back in the freezer like that and then you're good to go, ready for your... your, your, your Can I... It's a little bit bendy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say thank you so much? You know, Juliet bought me in some sourdough this morning. A oh. beautiful, warm sourdough this morning, cooked fresh by Yes, yes. Yeah. It was gorgeous. Lovely. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I love, I love baking okay. bread. Lovely. Well, look, uh, these are all fantastic. And they're melted. So yeah. They're very melty. I yeah. better say uh. this. Uh, for details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download our free This Morning app.